Perch Pro 7 is brought to you by JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. One week has passed since we last saw each other, but for our eight teams, it was just minutes ago that they finished the final phone report of Perch Pro 7. From now on, our competitors won't know anything about the result until we watch the episodes here on YouTube. We are exactly halfway through the competition and so far, hundreds of big perch have been caught with 250s in the top. I can't wait to see what the following one and a half days have to offer. Let's get started. Welcome back to episode 4 of Perch Pro, of Perch Pro 7. Uh, after the lunch report, uh, we uh, saw that uh, CVC had the same big five as us. Exactly the same length. Exactly. So our plan now is, you know, I think we are safe on the numbers. So now we're going to go big or go home. The smallest fish we have a 44. So we really try hard to up upgrade them. Yeah. And push CVC to also take bigger fishes. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully we do it better. Yeah. What we, do you see? We were just fishing for one hour and had a quite good result. We got the biggest topwater point and I think it's possible to snatch the numbers point. So I think we keep on doing what we did before. Yeah, we did pretty good for your small number of fishing. Yeah. So I'm such uh, We don't know how long lure fence is on the water, but um, we try to catch your number point. Welcome back to the fourth episode. Yes, um, on the Salmo and the Fox Range boat. And uh, definitely the topwater boat. Yes, yes. Because that's the only target of the day. Fishing top water. Yeah, so it's gonna be top water episode with us. Wish us luck, follow us, and, and we hope we can offer you some uh, some top water action. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. So let's go for a four pointer. Biggest fish of the day, biggest top water, and biggest overall fish in the tournament. Four point. Easy plan. Come on. Let's piece of cake. Yeah, and let's add a few points for that to tomorrow and we can do pretty good now. Welcome back to the Northern Sweden. Uh, this is uh, episode four now. And uh, if you watched the last episode, our last cast, Linnea had a really, really big fish that we didn't have time to measure it. So uh, we'll start this program with measure our fish. Let's see how big it is. Here she is. A nice lunker. It's time to measure her. 47, 47 and a half. 47 and a half. Nice one. Boom. Really nice one. She took on the pigs there. The stand up head. Super, super nice. Let's put her back and take another one. It's a super nice 47. There she goes. Super nice. Boom. <laughs> Welcome back for episode four. We're Team Cash with Care. And we're, we're gonna, gonna give, give you some, some action. action. All right. Hey guys, welcome to episode four, Perch Pro 7. You didn't see much of us the last episode because we only fished for 40 minutes. We took one fish and not on the top water. And now, after the result, we know that we need to catch a fish over 38 centimeter on top water. And we're gonna go all in on that. And we, a good thing about this lake is that we have a lot of places, places to fish. So we're just gonna uh, hit the run on every, every spot and try to catch one big. And uh, if we manage to do that, we have a plan to go for a big fish as well, but it's gonna be really tough because the two biggest is 50 already. So, but we, we're gonna go for it. It's a competition and we need to go for, for the win. So. Let's see if we manage to, to do our plan. Welcome to episode 4 for Perch Pro. It's the first approved fish for us, for Team Ilex Gönki. I didn't even start fishing. He's very fast. Is it 40? Okay? Yes. Yes, man. Good job. First fish is a 40. First cast, Perch Pro 7, episode 4. And what we're doing now is continue the power in fishing. And if we get the bite, we're gonna anchor. Because that was way effective this time. Different to the other lake, because the other lake we got two fish, three fish, and now we got 10 fish, 11 fish on one spot. So just drifting with the electric engine, and then close to the reeds and close to the weeds. Oh, ow. oh that was a big Ooh. one. Yeah. It's still there. I have it, I have it. Is it big? I'm not sure. Oh, it feels big. Anchor, big. please, because 
Yeah, well, but same spot, right? Not sure. It goes deep. Oh, no, it's a smallie. Yeah, I'll take it then. <gasps> the one behind was funny. Yeah. First fish, episode four. And we've been fishing for two minutes again. But the thing is, it's a pro. But the thing is, we had a way bigger fish following, yes. 40 plus, and I had several attacks. So I think the bigger one was attacking first. Yes. And then this one took it. But let's keep on fishing because here there are a lot of fish. Another click, Lure fans, we are coming for you. <laughs> Pike or stone? Pike. Mm. <sighs> Unbelievable. Pike, lost it. No, maybe not Pike. The rock. It was a rock that took it. What can we do? Just snap and the line goes against the rock. Fish on. But it's a smaller one. No, it's a pike again. Herregud. Yeah. Oh, the pike took the perch. Oh. <laughs> the pike grabbed the... The perch. Ha! Huh. Sorry, bro. Teaser. Here you can see the mark. It seems like they're on the worms, so I'm gonna put on a pixta too. And I fished it on the stand up head with uh, sharp hooks from BKK. Ready to get sneaky. There, there, there. Nice one. Boom! It is a 40, maybe. It is a 40 something. Boom. Brand new Pixta. Motile with green flake. Super nice. Super nice. Really healthy fish. Let's check her out. Let's see. 41. 41 on the Pixta. There you go. There she goes. Boom. Nice one right there, Stefan. Let's break down the top five board for a minute and see what we're dealing with over here. In the top we have CWC and Bite Oblique at the exact same total length of 227cm but since CWC have a top fish of 50cm and their smallest one is at 42cm it should be easier for them to upgrade the total length. Sporting also have a solid foundation of a good top 5 and if they can add two more fish in the high 40s they are going to be very dangerous. Linnea is still fishing the 10cm pig stare slowly along the bottom when something big finds it and sucks it into its big mouth. That one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a perch. Look at the rod. <laughs> the rod is bending. Got it! <sighs> Boom! Got it! Finally. Sorry. Fine, look it. You don't see the jig. <laughs> I just let the jig slowly, slowly, slowly sink to the bottom, then pause. Then boom. Look here. It's down and away. Not many fish, but the fish that are biting are big. They are biting hard. Pigsta! Pigsta, pigsta, pigsta. This is uh, one second. Can you get it there? 47. 47. Tank town! Tank town, baby! Boom! Well, that's about exactly what Team Sporting needed. A 47 centimeter lunker, and all of a sudden, they are just 42 centimeters behind CWC and Bite of Bleak. Another fantastic fish. Linnea Shore is on fire today, and so is the new 10 centimeter pigster, it seems like. Uh, today, I have fished best with the pigster. Moves really good in the water. I use a stand up head just to get it up from the bottom. Let it work on its own. So I'm changing to the smaller Astro Vibe. It's the 16.7 gram version. This is the classic one. Uh, there's different ways to rig this. I usually do it with a small blade in the back. Get a bit of a extra tease on the drop. But since I'm fish fishing really close to the bottom, I don't need the extra blade. I'm going to replace it with a red Owner ST36 size 8. They're laser sharp and top quality from Japan. Yeah. If this is a perch, I don't think so. If this is a perch, then it's big. Okay. Yes, it's perch. It's perch. No. 
No, big. Oh, pike. Pike. What? Pike? Yeah, pike. You see, guys, this lure is also good for pikes. Sorry, pikey. What the f just happened? <laughs> That's a good show. <laughs> I got it all on the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got, don't mess your cocks. <laughs> it, it was like a <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> what did you do? Dive in with an open mouth? <laughs> I swallowed the whole lake. Oh man, <laughs> that was that was intense. <laughs> Let's see how the rod is feeling by now. So, instinct rods, great for all type of fishing, but they're not great to put 10% of a ton on. <laughs> but. As always, just flex it back, back in business, and ready to use again. Instinct rods, the shit. <laughs> you know, I saw you slip and I was like... The pike were going down and I want to take it for a good release in my hand. <laughs> Well, that's one way to release a fish. To become a good angler, one needs to think and behave like a fish, so, oh, well, you better try to release yourself every now and then. We give you 10 points for that dive, Evert. In the west of France, Team Fox Rage Salmo, or should we call them Team Married Old Couple, are hooked up. Mission, good one. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Top water. Oh no, it's not, not big, not big. Even not sure it's sizable. Hey, f off, take, put the net. You are dropping it! But put the net! That was no, you the, dropped no, that! And you miss you, it! But you miss of course, it! When the, you wanted to drop it! What do I do with the fish? In no, you drop it! You wanted to drop it! Of course, because the net was in the boat. So I want to. You have no choice. When it happens to the boat, whether you drop it or you wait for the net. No! You, you wanted to drop it Fucking and you miss it, yeah. and then you put it on my. Uh... No, 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 yeah, no! Yeah, 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 why, yeah, yeah! Why are you waiting for no, no, the net in the middle shit, of the so boat? You, you assume what you've done. Crazy guy! Put you the net in the... what you've done. It's in your hand, what do you do with it? You ah, wanted to drop it and you miss it. Okay, I think we need a little disclaimer over here. Sylvain and JP are not married, even though it sure seems like it. In all relationships, it's important to solve your conflicts. So what's your solution? Okay, net your fish yourself. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I can do that. Putain, mais t'es vraiment un con, t'as essayé de la dropper! Mais oui, parce que je voyais que tu, tu bougeais pas avec les puzzles. Um, I think it's best we leave them alone for a while and I'm sure they'll sort it out. Let's check in with Team Sporting instead. Fish on! I think it's a pike. Or a big perch. I think it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. What do you think? I think it's a nice pike. Look at it go. Could use a net on this one. She's not done yet. <laughs> yeah, she got. Oh, a big one, big one. <laughs> Wrong piece. <laughs> I think we got the biggest fish at least in this boat. Wrong species again. Maybe a meter pike. There yeah, she got. Now we haven't seen any perch in quite a while, so let's head over to Lurefan's Bite of Bleak. That's usually a safe bet for perch action. Lost it. This is a hot, hot spot. Click. Good one. Oh, too heavy to lift. <laughs> no, it, now it's up. This is... Yeah. Oh, f me. 43 centimeter. Give us a 48. Yeah. Here yeah. one. Yeah. You never know how big they are. Not enough. Same size. Yeah. Oh, this is a good perch. 
Double trouble. Oh. <laughs> Good size, but I don't know if it's enough. 42. Nice perch. Double trouble. Double trouble. Yeah, we need to fish now. Yeah. They're on fire. 142 and 140. 40. Yeah. Better? Big one. This is upgrade. Nice! I think it's upgrade. I think it's upgrade. Let's see. I thought it was a pike, but it was a big perch. Let's see how big she is. Cookie shutter bait. 46. Nice! Two centimeter upgrade. Good condition. Yeah. Let it back. Let her back now. They are biting now. <laughs> Feeling now is really good. Good size of the perch. Just close to the boat out here. Yep. Good one. Yep. Peter Fredriksson, aka the Perch Whisperer from Nykvarn, does it again. Insane action on the blade jigs right now. Nice perch. Don't know how big she is. You'll see. Looks really good. Oh, it's a 47. 47! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 47. <laughs> oh my yeah! god! <laughs> nice. 47. This feels really good now. <laughs> good, bro. You're fishing like a... <laughs> so nice. Crazy. Perch action we asked for, perch action we got it. In just 10 minutes, Peter and Pelle managed to upgrade their top 5 score by 4 centimeters, taking out the lead and removing CWC from the top 5 point by quite a big margin. Down in France, the heat just got turned on as well. Team Hummingbird Vision have had a perfect morning with everything you can ask for, except big fish on the hook. Now Fred has a whole school of potential top water points following his lure. Will they finally be able to put one in the net? Come on now Fred! Take it! Take it! Oh no man! I can't believe how bad luck you're having today. Those fish were probably above 38 centimeters. Well, just keep grinding, boys. Fortune favors the brave. If I can give you a small tip when you fish a heavy plug on top water the whole day, you're gonna kill your arm trying to uh, all the time uh, make the animation. And uh, if you animate sideways, of course you're gonna have the, the right movement on the bait, but all the time you're gonna increase the pain in your arm by because you need to pull the whole thing the rod the line and and the bait and the heavy bait are heavy to pull so what i suggest you is to fish in line the rod in the same direction as your, as your bait and then you just rise it and then let it fall so very little energy spent on your arm and, uh, and your, your hand and like this you just let it fall and every time with the reel you take back the slack line and doing like this you're going to pop or walk the dog without any effort you can do that for hours and it's very very easy like this and you're going to be sparing your muscle that's pretty cool because we do the same thing. You tighten the line and then you pull the rod tip towards yeah. a little bit under the water just yeah, to get that really good action to it. Yeah, and, and also you get a much direct action on the yeah. popper. Yeah, do exactly the same yeah. thing. Very interesting. That's a great tip. From one team of topwater hunters to another. Striking loose are closing up on their prime spot from day one. Pair decides to try another color of the coffin shed rigged on an offset hook for fishing in the surface. Let's see if they're home today as well. Ooh, fish off. I take the net. It's a big, is it a big it's one? It's a big one. It's a big one. I'm Quite here. Big. I'm here. Yes. Nice. First fish. Nice perch. I think it's over 38. On the caffeine shad, and it took on the, on the green pumpkin. It's beautiful. Let's measure it quick. Come on now. Yes. How long? 40. 40. <laughs> 40 centimeter on the top water. Bye bye, Nay. See you in another show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fish on. Give me, give me the net. Give me the net. Give me the net. It's a big one. <laughs> yes. Another over 38. <laughs> Good, Victor. Maybe it's not over 40, but... No, but it's the, it, I think it's over 38. Okay, let's measure it. And we wet this again. Let's see. You think it's over 40, Victor? Uh, no, it's 
30, 39. Okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Victor, I think we have a really good average here now. No, I don't know. I have something wrong. Dude, fish on. Small fish. No, it's a big one. It's a big one. I, I am or here. Maybe, I am maybe. Here. No, it's not so big. <sighs> good, good. Small good, one, good, good. but it's over 30. Smoking hot. When we are coming into new places, we are moving the boat like 10 meters, 20 meters to new places, and we find uh, new schools of fish. So we're putting all the fish in the live well. So let's put it in the live well. We really need that early fish. Now we can relax a little bit. We really want to catch a bigger one, of course, but with a 40, we can go to the other lake and fish a big fish as well. Because the, the, the other lake, like you see in the, the first episode, we didn't caught anything, just one fish on the whole show. So the, the other lake is a real evening lake. So we only need to spend like, yeah, three to, to four hours in that lake. So we can fish here with confidence the whole day and wait for the evening in the other lake. So we gotta do that. Fish after. Oh, fish on. Big one. No. Take it easy, take it easy. I'm or maybe, here. or maybe, or maybe. I'm here, I'm here with you. No. Yes, here. Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah, it's 30, 39, 40. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. I mean, it could be 41. Could be a, an increase for, on one centimeter. Yeah, let's measure it directly. No, it's 39. 39 centimeter perch. And we keep the average high on top water. I fished this custom pro rod and this pro tie reel from Loose. It works really well. A lot of backbone and a really great reel to cast the bait far away and uh, wind in the line with high gear ratio. So it works really well. Let's put it in the live well. The top water masters from day one have officially snatched back the trophy with several perch bigger than Team Nace 38 centimeter perch with the biggest one hitting the 40 mark. Well fished, Pat and Victor. Two beautiful perch, one 40 centimeter and one 39. And let's put them back because we're gonna change spot now and when we're fishing one spot we put them in the live well because we don't want to spook some fish in the area. Nice! In another part of northern Sweden, a strong weather front is coming in for Team Ilex Ganke. How do you think that will affect the fishing, Gael? We hope not, but uh, it seems like a storm is arriving. So, just before we go for topwater action, because sometimes it's really good. Pressure is going down and uh, yeah. now it comes. So let's go. Five minutes and after I think we have to run to the car. Well, we got no lightning, it's fine. Mark and Gael have failed to put any topwater fish on the board so far during day two. Perhaps a change in the weather is what they need to turn on the bite. Look, that was a freaking huge fish. Another topwater monster missed, and now the rain is picking up even more. Let's have a shower. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. Let's go. Is the rain? Oh, Mark is hooked up again and it seems to be another big one. If it's above 40 centimeters, they'll steal the top water point from Team Striking Loose. Yeah! Yes! We did it! On top water in the storm, guys! That one has to be in the 40 centimeter range. Let's give it a measure. And oh yes, 42 beautiful centimeters, which means that we have a new top water top fish for the day and in the whole competition, which might serve them one extra point at the end of the three days. Lovely fish caught by Mark Tarkovsky. Well done. Wow, so nice. What a beautiful fish on the top water. So the storm just passed and we had insane top water fishing. Uh, unfortunately, the really big fish missed it. We didn't hook them, it was crazy gale. The last one we saw directly in front of the boat, it was, it was around, around 50, 50 around which 50. come on the top water. And we keep casting really big bait for that. The Chateau Beast is 145 millimeters, and this is the bait as a big fish really come, come up, up to kill it. Yeah, I'm going with the new size of the bunny. The Bonnie 107, that's also a really loud bait. It's not as big as the Cheddar Beast that Gail is using, but it's really loud bait. It has a nice color. And I caught the 42 on that one. That's a great bait for big fish, the so Bonnie. 
The day is slowly turning into afternoon and while some teams still have many hours left to fish, the time is slowly running out for the early birds. Lure fans Bite of Bleak are still in the lead on the top 5 board with an impressive 231 centimeters, but both CWC and Sporting have good potential to beat that. There you go. Fish. Fish on. Doesn't feel very big though. No, but it's a fish. Yeah, but up, it's up. not so tiny. No, an upgrade. It's yeah. uh, actually it's a uh, 40 plus, better than I thought. Boom, tank town, baby. That's a badass looking striped warrior, and it might be just about exactly what Stefan and Linnea need. They have four fish on the scoreboard and are exactly 46 centimeters behind lure fans. Let's see how big she is. 45. Boom. Let's put her back. One to go. If we get another one, we have a. Sh we actually have a shot of big five today. We have two meter and 30. Yesterday they won on 235. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it happen. At the moment we are at 231 centimeters. We have a few hours left to fish. Question is how long it will last. Maybe we need two, three centimeters more, but yeah, let's see what we can do and we can do. All right, so uh, made a strategic move. One hour and a half to go. We are back at our spot of the second water of today, where we start and catch the 40s. We need an upgrade for, for at least one centimeter. So uh, our expectations is that we do it here. Yeah, because we need to replace the 42 yeah. and the 44. And of course, it's always good to have another biggie in the bag. We do it here, let's yeah. do it. Indeed. Tobias and Dustin had a great start in the unknown lake, but after lunch, the fishing died off completely. We had a really good start, but now it's like completely dead. I'm not sure what to do. I think we just need to keep on fishing and then wait until it gets a little bit more evening and then we might be a little more active again. Oh, that's four door! Have you seen that? That's what 45. Oh. If not, this was bigger. I think it was bigger. I think so too. It was 50 fish maybe. F oh, that's a good fish. Oh, I lost it. That, that next one, but that's a small. The other one was big. Lost it again. Oh, no. Toby, that could be better. It's the biggest one for today, maybe. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. How he swallowed the lipless crank. He inhaled it full. Look at that. It's totally in his mouth. Crazy. Look at this beauty, really beautiful fish. Big head, just check the length, close the mouth, 39 centimeter, beautiful. I release it. Oh, look at this, look at the colors, such a beautiful fish. Isn't it a beauty? Our lipless crank prototype, it's really good. We really wanted to eat that. One hour to fish, but in one hour, many things can happen. We need to stay yeah. focused. And we can get this yeah, the wind. thunder and a little bit of wind and maybe yeah. some rain here. Can be a very good hour. We've had, uh, as you have seen, like 35, 36 degrees. Basically no wind, very, very high pressure. Now we're getting some clouds here and we hear some thunder in the background. And we really, really need a change of, of something, you know, so activate these fish because they're so inactive. Let's see if we can make this last hour count here. If there's something we've learned today is that drastic weather changes sometimes can turn the perch into ferocious killing machines, just like wolves in the moonlight. Dinner is served, warriors. Bone appetit. That was hands down one of the coolest perch fishing frenzies I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Unfortunately not big enough to get Frederick and Niklas the topwater point, but at least it's the first landed approved fish of the day. In the opposite side of France, Sylvain and JB are also doing everything in their power to put a big topwater perch on the board. The current topwater leaders, Ilex Ganki, already have a 42cm perch on the board, 
but they're trying to secure the lead further by catching an even bigger one. Very nice fish mark, but not bigger than 42. Meanwhile, in another lake, Team Striking Loose are breathing down their necks. They have a 40 cm topwater fish, but are quite sure that they need a bigger one, so Victor decides to change to a sexy dog to see if that is what gets the big perch hunting. Oh, fish after. Not so small, but you know, we find the perch. One thing with the topwater bait is to keep up the speed the whole way into the boat. Oh, fish after. Oh. It's so hard when you see the bite to not strike. Oh, fish on. So hard. Oh, fish on. Good. Give him the net. It's a big one. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Yes. Look at this. Beautiful perch. 41 centimeters. And this is the top fish for us. And it took on the sexy dog in the transparent color. Beautiful color and perfect bait for the top water point. So. Now we release her and they get a bigger one. Come on. Now we are hammering and hammering and hammering to try to catch another big topwater fish. And it should feel so great to have one around 45, both for the day, but also for the top uh, topwater fish total. So, but let's see. Team Sporting are slowly but steadily working on their top 5 score. They've only caught 5 fish so far, but they have all been good sized, which has them only 1 cm short of the top 5 point. But anything above 41 cm will give them an upgrade. There you go! There you go! There you go! I'm ready! There you go! Yes! Boom! Tank time, baby! Yes! Boom! Yes! There we have her! Everything can change in a minute! In one cast. Another nice upgrade. Nice. Pretty, one. pretty. Look at it. Look at the sun. Look at that fish. Chatterbait with a bite of bleak exo rip. Boom, boom. 44. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, with that fish, Team Sporting are upgrading their top five by three centimeters, which means that they are stealing the top five point from lure fans bite of bleak. On a lure from bite of bleak, ironically. Well done, Steph. Pelle and Pieter have a 45 cm perch as their smallest fish in the top 5. They are catching lots of fish, but all the 45 pluser seems to be gone. Maybe this can be an upgrade. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, can be an upgrade. Yes, so close. <laughs> yes, oh, I think this, this must be better. Hopefully we can get one upgrade more. I think we have like one and a half hour left to fish. Look at that lady, beautiful perch. Let's see how long she is, 46, 46. Nice perch, which give them a one centimeter upgrade, but they are still one centimeter behind Team Sporting and their smallest fish on the board is 46 centimeters, which isn't too easy for them to upgrade. Adam and Ivert haven't caught anything in quite a while, but now Adam changed over to a pigster and got hooked up right away. Uh, it's not the biggest. And it's a point fish. Yeah, uh, it's a point fish. But the, you see how they take it? They're really go going for it instead of that. You know. Oh, yeah, baby. On the drop shot. And it feels nice. This can be a nice fish, Adam. I'm ready with you. This is fighting low. Okay. This can maybe be an improvement. Well, it's a big one. Well done, Evert. <laughs> well done. Big fish on the drop shot. Yeah, Evert. Big one. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, big one. Oof. Oof. <sighs> Pigster doing the trick. Really nice one. Check it, man. Oh. It's a tank. A <laughs> tank again. Okay. okay, so the smallest one now is 43. And I think we're gonna... This oh, one. Oh, Whoa, shit, it's bigger than I expected. It's 48. It's 49, bro. 49. <laughs> Boom, baby. 49! Yeah! <laughs> hey! A nice 49 fish. Pigster did it again. Great soft plastic. And what a fight. Poof. Cool fish. Nice improve and it's going back. Oh man, I feel alive. Another massive lunker for Adam. 49 centimeter, and again we have a new leader on the top five board. We now have Bite of Bleak at 232 centimeters, Sporting at 233, and CWC at 234. Adam and Ebert were the first team to hit the water and only have minutes left of the day, but that's more than enough to catch a few more lunkers. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. I think this is an upgrade. Could be. Yeah, it is. It is an upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Oof. Okay, so. Uh, baby's on fire. Okay, quick measurement. 44 is the new number to beat. And this fish is... It's 44, Eva. <laughs> nice fish, but no upgrade. Adam and Evert are soon about to get off the water, but they still have some unfinished perch business. Maybe it's a strong one. Could be net. No, 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 net, no. It's Normally not. it is. <laughs> You're catching one 40 after the other. Crazy. We're in a bit of a hot zone right now. The one nice perch after the other. I think this one is, yeah, 42. Full sail, head on, baby. <laughs> so, it's so cool. Maybe, Yvette, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Net. Thank. Yeah, net. Thank, 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 thank. Because I think it could be bigger than a 44. Thank you, buddy. It's tank after tank after tank. In which direction do, did you uh, cast? Uh, slightly down did there. But the thing is, I, I just barely lifted from the bottom. Yeah, fish up. Good, Eva. And this one is 45. Good job, man, man. Go get big grandma. Can you click mine as well? Oh, yeah, click. We did some improvements, my friend. The smallest ones are 45 now. <laughs> Insane, man. I think we did a good job to, uh, yeah, to that, leave the spot. That was like the best of decisions. Oh, that was cool. On the piglet. What's the... Uh, 45 is the smallest. Yeah. This is like 42, 43. We have to flip them away because the biggest fish to upgrade is 45. But what a beauty this is. And they're coming one after the other. It's crazy. Time's up for Adam and Ebert. Well fought today, you guys. Man, man, man. I am so pleased that we skipped yeah, our yeah. number one spot. Yeah, we, we, I think that if we grinded that spot, maybe one more fish, but yeah. going here was insane. Every time, every fish was an improvement. Bam. Yeah. We caught like 15, somewhere uh, uh, I think above like, 40 yeah, centimeters. 15 or 20 fish. It was insane. I'm not certain, but I hope and think that we get the overall point for the I'm, day. I'm pretty sure. We were on equal on the 12 o'clock report yeah. and we hammered it. Out of the sky. Out of the sky. So guys, thank you for watching this episode. And uh, please. We, we enjoyed it. Yeah, like crazy much. Probably one of the best fishing days in a long time. It was Ebert's birthday today. So we Happy had a- Happy birthday. <laughs> we had a big party. Ebert got to, to go for a surprise swim and everything. So yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> surprise swim. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow guys, uh, check us out on episode five. And okay. we have big fish coming up. I feel it. <laughs> Here we go. Ah! That's officially CWC fishing team signing out from episode 4. What a crazy day. In France, time is running out for Niklas and Frederick too. They have missed a few bites but haven't added anything more to the board. Any last minute strategies today, Niklas? They're really feeding on, uh, or actually, what really draws them up. Now Fred has had some action with the walk the dog, but in general it's really big, loud poppers. And I've been fishing a really big one most of the day. Yeah. And we wanted with the, for pike, and then we have a big dragon tail in the back here. But I took one of these and I uh, just cut it into two pieces. And on the wire I put a, just a um, split ring and then a blade here. Just to get that noise and then a lot of attention here. So when you are in places like this and you need to play around a little bit. Looks really good. See if we can catch something on it. Yeah, that's a Deraku popper fly that you have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have a, a blade in the back? or A spin popper. Okay. They look like that or? Yeah, just as they sink. Oh, this doesn't yeah, it's, sink. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty combination. Yeah, I think so. I like the flash on the back. Yeah. That when, even when you stop, yeah. you, you still have this uh, blade flashing. Yeah. And that's really, uh, yeah, sexy. Yeah, you have the noise from the from the howitzer head and then you have that blade really flashing yeah. a lot. Never stop playing and never give up.
With those words of wisdom, Team Hummingbird Vision are firing off their final casts of the day. They have only caught one approved fish all day, but as you know, hope is the last thing that dies in a fisherman. Was intense. A whole school came after, really, really just crashing yeah. right at the boat side. They were hiding there. Yeah. Finally, a little bit of activity. Not monster that we want, but it's fun. Uh, no. No, no, no. No 30. Bye bye. Good job, anyhow. <laughs> I love when you don't see them, you no, know? No, no. And suddenly you see one coming out, yeah. and then the other one say, ah, oh, no, 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 no. She's not going to eat alone. It, oh, I think I'm an old school coming out. Yeah. That's so fun. Man. We're fighting for it. <laughs> but it's not really happening. <laughs> I feel sorry. <laughs> uh, oh. They live out there. Mad. I don't want to say mad. Yeah, mad. Mad. The strange thing is you if you get one to react, the, the whole school comes after and then they just Gone. Welcome to France. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Guys, we need you. We need a lot and strong support from you. So please give us some command, cheer us up, because tomorrow it's we so don't give up. No, hell no. It's time to Wrap kill this. it. Yeah. Team Hummingbird Vision have signed out and they're going back to the boat launch. Of course, the perch are starting to hunt like crazy in the surface, but hey, that's fishing, folks. Meanwhile, in northern Sweden, Team Striking Loose are also on the move. Okay, guys, now we are heading to the other lake. We're gonna go and fish big fish this evening. We're gonna launch off the boat here and uh, hope to catch a big perch because we have 141 on the top water and we are quite confident about that fish so we hope that we we have the top water fish and uh, for the chance to win we're gonna go all in for a big fish now and we know it's a really hard game because we all already have 250 fish this day so it's need to be at least 50 to, to have one point 51 can give us four points in the end of this competition so we need to do this we all like high-risk moves. Way to go, Team Striking Loose. Two teams have already stopped fishing and now time is about to run out for Team Lure Fans Bite Oblique 2. You know, it's getting ridiculous. So many good fishes in this lake. And now, also a new one. Oh my god. No, this is a 45 again. Not an upgrade anymore. But still, look at this. Look at that back, that neck. It's unbelievable. So cra crazy. Can't believe it. Now Peter hooked up. I put her back. <laughs> My God. I don't think it's an upgrade, but we will check. Took uh, extra shad, nine and a half centimeter. Shampoo oil. Good fishes. This is crazy. Maybe the last perch of the day for Pelle and Peter. Let's see how long it is. 46. 46? Yeah. What do we need? 47. So 46 is the smallest yeah. one? Yeah. <sighs> Too small. Feels really bad to say that about the 46 fish. <sighs> now we're going to throw our last cast for episode 4, day 2. Let's see if we get a bite. Mine was longer. <laughs> it was? <laughs> yeah. One meter longer than yours. Nothing, nothing. It dies out after 4 o'clock, I think. Yeah. We're done for, for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See you uh, on episode. Good epi job, Pelle. Yeah, good job. Episode 5? Yes. Yeah. See you then, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Three teams out, five is still standing. One of them is Team Sporting. We are down to the almost an hour left. What we call a lot of really nice fish. We don't think we are all the way up there. We need one more upgrade. We can upgrade the 44. I know it's tough to upgrade a 44, but uh, the other guys are doing really, really good. We saw the result yesterday, so we should we should, to get the point today, we should upgrade. There's a chance to get the big fish to share with CWC. Unless somebody else catch a bigger, then they're worth it. But the big five... Mm, another one. Another one. So, let's go get it. One more. But so far today, I'm happy with our result. We have some great fish. Yeah. We have some really good fish in the boat. It could be worse. It could be worse. 
fish. It could be worse. Could be worse. This is a good one. Seems Ready? like a good one. Yeah, it is a good Feels one. Feels like a good one. Yes, it is. But it can be 42, it can be bigger, it can be, you don't know. Yeah, it's big. Maybe. maybe. Boom. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Look at this. Right in the lip. Boom. Look at this, huh? Pretty as this comes. Let's check her out. Boom. This fish is, is it 45 again, huh? Yeah, 45. 45. 45 again. Whoa, this one was... Uh, <laughs> she was happy to get back in the water. Oh my goodness. One centimeter increase for Team Sporting resulting in a top five of 234 centimeters. Very close, but no cigar. One centimeter behind CWC fishing team and less than half an hour left to fish. Not too far away, Team Nace are rocking the numbers and just caught this beauty. Look at those colors. Fish number 50 on the Predator. Um, now we catch them quite good. If we can continue catching them that fast, maybe we have a little, little chance to catch the number point. But we, we don't know. I don't think so. There is a chance, a little chance. The wind has calmed down and now it really seems like it's evening. It's less sun and everything feels much better. And I think our tactic is now to just keep on fishing with the top water, try to get an even bigger one. And at the same time, Dustin will be fishing with another lure, so we see if there are any perch there, because sometimes they just don't want to take the top of the lure, and then it's a good uh, way to see if there's even perch where you're fishing to use another one. So that's perfect when you're a team like me and Dustin to do different things. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's a big one we needed. We won it. Yes, oh. good Dustin. Maybe the, the big ones start biting now. Oh, that's a 43, 42 foot. Look at the head of this fish. And he swallowed the crank. We're really catching them with the crank now. That's a big fish. Look at this beautiful fish. I think it's 42 or something like that. Our new top fish, really beautiful. It's 41, 41 centimeter. Really beautiful fish. Release it now. I'm happy. Fish on. Actually, I think it's the second biggest one for today. Yeah, it's a nice fish. I think that could be a 40. It's even longer than the other one. It's 42. Second 40 of the day. Bye, thank you very much. And you oh. die. Oh, it's big one. Big. Big one. Now we found the bigs. I should switch the top water, but this one is good. It's 41, 42. I think, I think it could be even bigger. <gasps> good, Toby. Bring it in the net, please. Oh, it's Bring long. It. Bring it in the net. Yes. Whoa. New top fish, nice. Maybe we catch the big ones now. But it is actually very long. Oh, Tony, yes. <laughs> Continue fishing, yes. Really long one. Insane. Look at that fish. Our new top fish. Not on top water, but overall. Is Got it... one? Oh, that's a big fish. Toby, I need the net. It is 46, 46 centimeters. Toby, I got a really big fish. That's really big fish. Yes, Toby, less, yes, yes. That's an impressive double header by Team Nays. 46 centimeter for Toby and another 40 pluser by Dustin. Show us what you got, boys. 46, 41. Yes. Keep on fishing. We, are, we found them. The question is, should I do top water? Uh, actually, we have the chance to make big f five. Don't you think so? Yeah, we could actually do it. Like 46 is a good one. Yeah, we have 42, we have 41, 41, 46. We need four bigger ones, but still, they are here. But maybe we get the 50 now. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I think I'll continue with the jig. That's a big fish. Net? Yeah, yeah, net, 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 net. Is it a really good one? Yes. Yeah, oh, it's good. Good, Dustin. Yes! Toby! We have found them. Continue fishing. Whoa! Next 40 fish on the jig. Looks weird, it has an injury, but still a beautiful big fish, look. And one after another now. I have to measure it real quick. It's exactly 40 centimeter. Thank you. After sacrificing some highly valuable fishing time on the road, Pat and Victor are soon arriving at their new lake. Or at least that was the plan. Tja. Hey, we have a river. Where is it? 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 Alltså det är så, vi håller på att tävla och det är på tid. Ja. Alltså det här händer inte. Tror du det är kört, Victor? 
Can I go to Colaro? Oh. What should you say? You know, the tractor has stopped in, in the middle of the road where we are heading to the new spot. And we can't, uh, we can't pass it. So maybe we need to drive around and spend at least 30 minutes ja, more. Vad tror du, Viktor? Ja, ah, jag tror fan inte. Alltså. Du vet, båt, jag tror inte den kommer över. Alltså. Det är fan, det är just det att komma över. Här, här är det minst. Ja, ah, här är det minst, ja. ja. Vi, måste, vi måste åka tillbaka, så jag vågar inte köra här. Alltså. Ska vi ha det här på en gång? Ja, ah, det är bara att åka tillbaka. We need to go back. Spend another 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, we just realized that this at least one and a half hour around the lake on really crappy roads to get to the lake and yeah we can't go for the big fish what should we do go all in top water in the same lake yeah we we need to go to, we... but if we spend are you sure it's one hour yeah one and a half hour yeah are you sure yeah it's the stone on the on the road is smashing the trailer we are six minutes from the lakes from the lake Yes, that way. <laughs> but if we're gonna go around, it's maybe one and a half, two hours, because the big rocks on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, you're kidding me. We could wait here and see if they fix the tractor. Maybe we should take a, a number and. Uh, yeah, yeah, do we do that. We do that. Maybe they fixed it now in five minutes. We yeah. don't know. It's a good choice. We need to. We need to try this. Oh. Enligt dem så de tycker att det är en buggy som åker där. Ja. Självklart åker där. Det är, det är trailern som är det farliga. Bilen är lugn. Kom igen. Kom igen då. Kör. Det här är ingenting. Ni är inte vant sånt här ni. Det är trailern som... Kolla det där däcket så att det kommer ner bara. Jag åker bara. Ingen fara. Här åker vi med små mobil vi. På vintern. <laughs> Let's go to the new lake. We, we passed the test and now we can go and take a big perch. <laughs> now we'll take a 55 <laughs> perch. Another team chasing for 50 plusers are Sporting who only have few minutes left. They need one more centimeter to get the top 5 points and are chasing one last upgrade. This one feels like a nice one. Yeah. Feels like a really good one. It looks like a good one. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get in. I get out of the... Oh, don't worry, just... Take it on this side. It it's right a here. good it's a one. one. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Take it out. Out from the boat. There you go. It's a tank. Oh, yes. Here we have the fish. This is a big oh, one. This is a really, really, really nice one. Yeah. Last light of Durin's day. Sun is going down. And we got this Dinosaur Junior here from Tank Town. It's a super, super nice fish. It's a 47 and a half. 47 and a half. Now it's time to release this pretty girl. Look at that, how healthy and fine she is. She got me one of the, with the fins, but it doesn't matter when you catch fish like this. This is unbelievable. Swedish gold. Now I'm going to release her. Ah, great job. Very, very fantastic day in Tank Town. We are really happy with the result of today. We don't know anything about the other guys oh. since lunch, so we can only speculate. We, uh, it's time to go get some roadie stew and uh, get ready for tomorrow. For tomorrow will be another day in takedown. So don't miss next episode. We're going to get big ones. Big ones coming big your ones. way. It's been an intense afternoon on the top five board and now we have a new leader once again. With that 47 centimeter perch, Team Sporting are passing CWC with a crazy top five score of 236 centimeters, which is a new all time record in the history of Perch Pro. The day is not fully over and we still have four teams fighting all the way to the end. Down in France, Sylvain and JB have had an extremely tough day with zero approved fish on the board, but now they finally caught one or well two actually two on the same hook uh, oh no two two different hooks could we uh, addition the two the two lengths because it's uh, 25 25 it would be uh, a 50 no Woo! we have the 50 50 fish. yes give me well a, done silva can you check with the <laughs> you want to check this club? no 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 i'm just joking this i think i've never done it two fish on the same treble hook so this is the small one the first one <laughs> and the second one that was a funny one. Let's go for a big one. 15 minutes past eight, 45 minutes to left. 
I'm fed up walking that dog. We <laughs> did almost the whole day walking the dog. Yeah. We continue. We, we will catch one big fish. So keep on casting. Oh, fuck. That was a nice size. Can okay. you believe it? I don't know. No, no, no. Oof, that's a decent fish, man. Oof, what a bite, man. Oof, crazy. What a bite. They were chasing my perch, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Matt? Oh, no. So, with four minutes to go, we found some action. Caught a really beautiful fish. Look at this fish. Wow. Nice. But that's not what we need today. Bye bye. Thank you for playing. Poof, man. Okay, that's it. The dog is tired. <laughs> <laughs> and me too. What a day. Hot day. Hot day. We really yeah. give it all. So we caught a nice fish with uh, 42. We really hope that will be enough. But yeah. I don't know. I really it's, don't know. It's hard to know, but we know where they are. We have a few good places now. Yeah. Thanks for the day, man. Thanks for the day. It was a good fishing day. And just as beautifully as the sun revealed itself in the morning, it's now descending behind the tall trees in the north. Team Nays are hoping for a last minute miracle as they are casting into the sunset, knowing that it's not over until the last cast has left the water. Whoa. Oh fuck! The small pike snatched my lure and the bigger one came and attacked, <laughs> took the small pike. Crazy! Intense. Intense, look at this. I'm sorry, little guy. Go back and <coughs> take care that he won't get you again. It was nice action, but not the action I wanted to have, to be honest. Fish, Toby. It's a keeper, it's not big, but it's a keeper. Number 70. Net. Fish number 70. Bye. And click. This is was probably the last cast. Oh, crazy bite. Big one? Good one. Good one. Good one. Let it be the 50. Well, <laughs> it felt heavier. It's over, so it's done. We had a great day. For sure. Like, we, we caught a lot of fish today. 71 fish. That's crazy. That's really good. And top fish of 46. Yeah. And top water, 38. A lot others on top water as well. It's been like a really good day, but the problem in part three is that like everyone else is so good. So you can't have a good day or you can't even have a really good day. You have to have a extremely good day in order yes. to get the point. That sums up the day for many of the teams, including Team Strike King Loose. They had some great action, caught a 41 centimeter topwater perch, but were beaten by Ilex Gunky by one tiny centimeter. To make matters worse, their bold move to the big perch lake didn't pay off at all. We have stopped fishing now. Day two is over, and uh, we hope, of course, that we have the topwater fish. We don't know that yet, but we have one day left tomorrow, and we're gonna go all in tomorrow for the top of the fish and try to catch a big fish in the evening and we think that's all, uh, our only chance to win so we're gonna go all in for that but let's see guys thanks for watching don't forget to see the next episode next week until then have a great week bye we played we've lost not yet not yet 10 minutes but I won some competitions at the last cast. Yeah. So was it a top water it, competition? It, <laughs> no, but it can happen. You never know. <laughs> you catch it <laughs> at the first cast sometimes, or the last one. Yeah, ten hours popping under the heavy, uh, heavy sun. It, it makes us totally mad. Come on, we just need one, one big one. It's been incredibly hard. We've rough. done our best, we stick to, really stick to the yeah. strategy, but it's one of, to be honest, one of my hardest uh, day on the water. Me too. We've been suffering from, from the heat, um, spent the whole day with an assault. Uh, yes, really hard. To be honest, I don't know about the other teams. I hope. They, they, they catch better than us because for the yeah, audience of <laughs> and they for, did, the, for the film, <laughs> they did, they very didn't boring. Catch, they didn't catch less for sure. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know for the others. I, I think the number will stay with bite oblique. 
The yep. biggest one will stay, the 50 will stay yep. for me. No, no, I don't see no, any major I hope major our little change. brother from Luz uh, get the, the top water point. Top water point. Okay. I will be happy for yep. that. And tomorrow we do exactly the same for 10 hours. Yes, because we are mad. Yes, <laughs> we, we, we die with the strategy and we do, we do this tomorrow. That's it, so, that's it, so don't miss the next episode, uh, episode 5. Yes. Um, maybe we will do a bit better. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. We'll do. Will. It's not, not See it. you for episode 5. Yes. Thank you. Bye. The by far craziest day ever in Perch Pro has officially come to an end. Highs and lows, breakdowns and personal bests. This day has had it all. Now let's have a look at the final result. The number point was once again secured by lure fans by the oblique, but unlike the first day, that was the only point they got today. CWC fishing team and team sporting get one point each for the 50s they caught, giving them a shared big fish point. Regarding the top 5 point, it was an incredible intense fight between CWC, Bite Oblique and Sporting, where Stefan and Linnea ended up as the winners at the end of the day with only 1cm down to CWC. I'm really sorry Adam and Ebert, but I guess you're familiar with the feeling by now. Finally, the top water point is given to Ilex Ganki with a 42cm perch, only 1cm longer than striking loose. That's it folks, thank you for watching, see you in episode 5, the last day of Perch Pro, where everything is going down.